The big question right now, though, a quick interview with Babu Inosunu, uh, chair, of course, after what has been happening at Nairobi University over the, the last two weeks, 62 students suspended. Uh, today, I'll start. Thank you so much for making time for the big question, first of all. Thank You've you. been described as the Mugabe of uh, the university uh, politics. Do you want to be the Sunu chairman for life? And as you answer that, this is a David Ngure Ngangan Langata for uh, number two, for number two says, Babu, Babu, how many units are you currently doing for you to be a student for that long? Why do you think you're the only person fit to be the chairman by all means? So my question again, do you want to be the Sunu chairman for life? No, this is your fourth term. Uh, Hussein, this is my fourth term. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sunu chairmanship, you get it when uh, it is an, uh, you go through an electoral process, a democratic process where yeah. you're elected by, by, the, by your constituents. I was elected as a Sunu chairman the fourth time and the second time under the new Sonu constitution. And uh, when I talk about my brother, about the issue of the units, I have to tell him clearly that uh, I've done my first degree in actuarial science. Right. I'm taking my second degree in law. Right. Yes. We, don't, we don't dispute that you've been elected uh, democratically, so as you yes. put it. But the thing is, this is your fourth term. Why? What is this you're my offering? Why, why do you want to keep being the Sonu chair? The main chair? reason is because the students are, are satisfied with my services. That's why they elect me, and that's why they elected the me. The same students have been protesting over the last two weeks that we saw 62 Usain. of them Usain. being suspended Usain. today. Usain. That's clear. We have 84,000 students in, in the University of Nairobi. Less than 200 students was, were demonstrating, and there are reasons behind it. Do you really care about the University of Nairobi students' welfare? Does that really matter to you as the chair of Sono? I do, that's, now, why, if you do, that's why they keep electing me. If you do, and we have 62 students suspended today, we had yes. protests last week, all this because you were elected Sono chair. If you really care about these students, why wouldn't you just step down if it's going to create so much problems? The issue of uh, suspension of the students are in line with the ri riots that took place, which were violent and led to destruction of university property. There are students, and they, they, there's an investigation that's going on, and uh, as a ch 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 chairman, I've decided that uh, we are going to return some of these innocent students. Right, but the riots have come with a lot of destruction, isn't it? Yes. You would, and no, anybody would really hate what has happened, Yes. even if a special students. Yes. So if this really matters to you, you care in, about in, the welfare, why do you want to be in a place where we have students who don't want you going to protest and causing such you're getting it wrong. I got 18,000 uh, votes against 2,000 votes, a person, uh, the person who's uh, protesting the results. That means clearly that, uh, that as a Sonu chairman, I've been democratically elected. We had, we, mm -hmm. had, we had other mm -hmm. people, we had mm -hmm. presidential elections. We see what happens after every electioneering period. Some people choose to grieve in the house, some people choose to mourn in the streets. So that is the decision they made. Nathan Aurora in tweet on Twitter is saying, is Babu ready to resign as Sonu chairman if protests persist against his re-election? Why would I resign and I was democratically elected? So it doesn't matter what happens. How, how, I, was what kind elected, of happens? I was elected democratically. Okay. Yes. With all due respect to you, you don't strike many as an ordinary you know, citizen. And you are a student. A lot of people are talking about you being high society, driving fuel, gas, not living in high-end uh, areas. We have seen you and you can play that clip. And I'm sure you saw, you saw it on social media. You are there yourself. You can look at it on TV. We see you dish out money to University of Nairobi students and induce them to vote for you. The question is, First, what is the source of your wealth? Where do you uh, get this money from? First, I have to explain the issue of the video. That's not voter bribery. I was a Sunu chairman then in February, mm -hmm. went to Kenya Science, mm -hmm. and uh, my students requested that I buy them some lunch, and I did that. How many students? Not an offense. Look at the ladies that I give the money. They are around uh, 10 students. It was a long who, who queue. Who are getting that? It was a They're long queue. Only 10. Play the video again, and you'll. you'll it was a long it. queue of students uh, getting money from you, and we can but, look at but it the again. The question is, how many received? Just look at that. Okay, back to my question then. What is the source of your wealth? Uh, I don't have wealth myself. I'm not a wealthy person. Personally, my wealth belongs, uh, comes from heaven. And what, what I need to say yeah. is that I own a group of companies, and I'm a farmer also, that if you need to know, I will explain at a later time, and I've, uh, a later time, and I've already explained this on several occasions. Right. You're yes. the Sono chair. Yes. Uh, you, that is a coveted position, isn't it? <laughs> and, and many would like to know, because they see you living, I mean, like high society. So when that's, you say you have, here, you have companies... You yes. have what does, do these companies do? What uh, kind of farming the, are you there's, involved in? There is supply, there is a construction company, and then there is properties. So you work and with I've the government? Is that what you're saying? No, saying companies are owned by even individuals, not just government. No, what I mean is, do you do government tenders when you say you do supply? Some are government tenders, some are other mm -hmm. institutions. Yes. Okay. I asked this because Nakada Chair Mutuzo the other day just fell short of accusing you and the university leadership uh, of being involved in drug business. First, how do you respond to that? Uh, and we saw police raid the university, came, saw crude weapons, and got about, about 25 kilograms of ban. 
Uh, Hussein, uh, hearsay uh, is not admissible in a court of law. I think uh, uh, Mutudo is consuming a lot of rumors from rumor mills, and himself, uh, it's a shame if he can make such reckless statements. If he thinks that I'm involved in drugs, then let him prove and write a statement to the effect, and uh, let me be arraigned in court for, for being involved in drugs. Okay, so, so let him not just make uh, reckless statements because he should be talking. Okay, that's yes. Mutudo, but we saw again yes. the police going there, and in it, so crude, well, they got crude weapons and they netted 25 kilograms of bang. So how did that happen? University of Nairobi has 84,000 students. So I don't control the, the lives the of students in the University, the University of Nairobi. Fine. That as is the work of the administration. So you don't disagree that that could be happening in the University of Nairobi? It is like any other, it is, like, it is a smaller part of the bigger society. So it could be happening in the University of Nairobi, yes. also to say, because that was And it is not my work to ensure that that doesn't happen. As the Sonu it is work chair? of the administration. As the Sonu chair, I have mm -hmm. to ensure that my students lead uh, uh, th their lives in the university is, uh, is, is, is okay. But I don't have to go into nitty gritties on what a person does. Right. That is the work of the authority. Right. Finally, you have been accused of being violent by your uh, opponents, and especially for those people who vie against you. And I don't know if we have that clip uh, that shows people have. It's been running on social media, and I'm sure uh, you saw it. You slapping somebody. Uh, you tried to explain it first. How did that happen? Uh, Hussein, I have to explain it clearly, and I've said it before, mm -hmm. that get the CCTV footage that uh, was at the Shell petrol station. Mm -hmm. You'll see clearly that it is Mike Jacobs who came to our car mm -hmm. to assault us first. Mm -hmm. We were acting probably out of self-defense. There were five people. We were three. And get the CCTV footage from Shell and play to the public to see what happened. So you don't think that demeans you in your position as the chair of Sonu? Uh, when people see you beating somebody senselessly? I, I didn't beat somebody. somebody. I didn't beat somebody. If you talk yes. about beating, then uh, I don't know if, you, if is, that is beating. Slapping is beating somebody, isn't it? Uh, honestly speaking, I was not involved in that. And as a Sonu chairman, I hold a position in the, in the, in the country. Right. Being a Sonu chairman. And... Going back to the CCTV uh, footage that we even put in social media and everybody was watching, mm -hmm. it shows clearly who came to assault who. Okay, that clip is there and everybody has seen it mostly on social media. I wish uh, we had it. Finally, there's a picture circulating on social media. You again seem to be holding a gun and I think we have it and it was shown right now. Was that your gun? That's, or that's Photoshop. That's I've, Photoshop? I've, I've always said it on several uh, uh, TV stations yeah. and uh, radio stations, and I don't know what the media wants with it because every other time they put it, I say it's Photoshop. So the other day, we say now if I want to make you, uh, if I want to make you a lady, yeah. I'll just Photoshop <laughs> you. That's so you don't own a gun. I don't. But you have bodyguards. Is there a reason why you walk with bodyguards? I don't have bodyguards. You have bodyguards. Are you, you, seeing, bodyguards? Are you seeing any? I don't have bodyguards. You have bodyguards. Have you came friends. with bodyguards in studio tonight, isn't Those it? are my friends. What makes you think they're bodyguards? What's the description because of a bodyguard? Because we see you walking around. So you say you never walk around with bodyguards. Those are friends, Peter. Who, who, that you must walk with all the time. But what's the problem of walking with friends? Okay. Babu Wino, thank you so much. Uh, Babu Wino is the Sunu chair. The question, are you going, are, is this your last time? As the chair of Sonu? Definitely, under the new constitution, it is my last term, which is in tandem with the supreme law of, of, of Kenya, the Kenyan constitution. Right, so whether that yes. constitution is amended or not, this is your last term, that's what you say. This is my last term, next year I'll be the next MP for Embakasi. And we wish you, we wish you all the best. Babo, you know, thank you so much for making time for the big question. Keep talking to us on double two four double two on Twitter using the hashtag. The big question, we are asking you tonight in our later interview on the big question, do you think Moses Wetangula should be called presidential flag bearer in 2017? Janet.